Hi people, it's me again, Ilibu. In this video you can join me taking pictures in dream conditions in the German Gespensterwald. And that translates into English as ghost forest. You can probably already see why it has this name. Okay, but first things first, the conditions were super good and I wanted to use reliable film, so I loaded my Minolta CLE with the all-time classic HP5. Okay, let's go into shooting. It was damn cold and I was wearing multiple pullovers and two pairs of trousers. <laughs> I mean, look at this marshmallow. Here's the first of the roll shot. It turned out pretty boring. On the next picture, I tried something more artsy with the tree going right diagonal through the picture. When I took this picture, I was not sure if I will like it, but now that I see it, I like it a lot, but I can imagine that most people don't understand it or don't like it, but for me, it's, it's a good picture. As you can see, it was totally foggy and that was exactly what I wanted. Before this day we were already two times at this forest and it was not looking nearly as good as it is here. And even when we arrived there it was not that foggy but it just got better and better. It was even so dark and foggy that the bikers needed to activate their lights. And of course I photographed that. The special thing about this forest is that all the trees are so mysteriously shaped and that's also where its name came from. Because if it's very foggy like it was on this day, the trees have shapes like ghosts. I think this happened due to the wind and the salt of the sea nearby. And yeah, when you see it like this, it's just super beautiful. I already knew that I would like to take some medium format pictures of this scene as well. And that's why I prepared the GS645S at home. This was actually my first experience loading this camera myself and even shooting medium format for the first time. So I was a bit nervous if I do everything correctly. But as you will see, the first pictures turned out pretty solid. Also, seems like Lisa was already moderating while recording. A wildlife photographer photographing some trees. But there will be some problems later on with the film. I think the problems were not actually caused by me. The film is just very old and maybe not produced very good. I mean for now the pictures were still looking super good, but you will see later. Here I took another picture with the medium format camera of a biker. And you can already see a little light leak coming from the bottom and the top, but that is not a problem for me. And then I spotted these trees here. Uh, the tree in the foreground is so interesting shaped and also the one in the middle or right middle is super beautiful. So this might be one of my favorite scenes of the day. What do you think? Do you like it? And on this picture I just love how there is a little person on the left side. Totally lonely walking along the sea and then you have these massive trees on the right. That's a typical picture that is beautiful and interesting to me. And maybe it works if you print it very large, but this would never work on Instagram for example. Because no one can see the little black dot on the left side. So I'm very happy to share it here. While I was running around with my three cameras taking pictures from everything, Lisa was also taking pictures with the Miu and some of them turned out super cool. You can see them here. As you maybe know from a previous video in my Leica there was some Ekta 100 and luckily I decided to take some pictures with it here as well because I wanted to see how this fog looks in color. I'm actually very happy that I did that because these results are just so great. I will definitely use more Ekta in the future because I very much like how the colors render. Then I change back to black and white again. And here we have another scene with someone running on the right side. 
Then I took another medium format picture and two pictures with Ekta again. When we were there, I just decided that I want to take as many pictures as possible because I probably won't have the chance to shoot this forest in these conditions again. And I am happy that I did that so that I can choose from a big variety of pictures now. I mean, in this video, I almost show you every single picture I take. Not all of them are great, but I'm happy that I took them anyways. I like motion in pictures so I felt like trying something new and so I changed my shutter to be very slow and pointed the camera down and moved it up and this is the result. <laughs> I think it looks pretty fancy but I took the same picture without any movement here as well. But also in this moment I felt like you can basically photograph everything around you and it always looks good. Here are more medium format pictures. The first one is also a favorite of mine. I just adore this one tree and how it's shaped. But yeah, on the next pictures you can see how the light leaks start. Because it's such a high resolution it is possible to crop a bit. And it still looks good. But also these pictures and the imperfection of them gives them a vibe <laughs> and makes them unique in a way. So I would not say that I prefer them to be with light leaks but it's okay for me. Now I have a little comparison for you. I took similar pictures on Ekta, on Foma in medium format, but with light leaks and on HP5. It's for sure interesting how different the scene can look. The whole atmosphere there was so nice with little birds flying around and not that many people. And then this big wall of foggy air. I decided that I want to finish the role of Foma 100 and take some portraits of Lisa with it. <laughs> I did not know at this time that they will turn out so freaky, but for portraits also with the numbers around and these dots, it looks kind of fancy. So please tell me in the comments what you think about these frames. And as I now know, the film should be rolled way more tight than it was here. And if it would have been more tight, then there wouldn't have been light leaks. But it also seems like that's a problem of the film, so I would definitely not use it again. Besides, if I want these extra funky results. And I could have maybe saved it if I directly put it into something dark. But I was honestly not thinking a second about that. It was a nice learning for me, and I definitely want to shoot more medium format in the future. Later in this evening I took some more pictures and finished my roll of Ekta 100 because I decided to end my day with some sunset pictures and I would say that's always a good idea. Here are the last pictures of the day for you. Don't forget to share the video if you like it. As you know I'm totally new to YouTube and I appreciate every help to grow a bit. And if you want to see more pictures that I took then you can check my Instagram. My name is Ilibu there as well and I would really like to see some of you there. And then we were driving back home with a lot of tractors on our ferry. I also wanted to say thank you for the feedback under the last videos. I was not expecting that so many people watch these videos already. Here are again my favorite pictures of this day. Please tell me in the comments which picture you liked most. Hopefully see you soon. Bye bye.